A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. The early settlers in the western United States were not the only ones who endured hardship and privation. The small detachments of soldiers who were sent to build and man the garrisons on the far-flung reaches of the frontier were often attacked by hostile Indians and bands of outlaws. They endured bitter cold and blazing heat, and although they did their job well, they might not have succeeded in making the West safe without the help of the masked rider of the plains. It was he, more than any other man, who brought law and order to the frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past of the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading north to Wyoming. Donald's waiting on the trail ahead. Hail, Silver! Away! <laughs> It was midwinter, and a raging blizzard had swept out of the north to strike at the little town of Sterling. The single main street was deserted, except for a figure that half ran, half stumbled toward a house that stood by itself on the edge of town. Locked. Ma, in the name of heaven, Ma, unlock the door. Hurry, open the door. Jerry! Lock it, quick. No, I'll lock it. Where'd you come from? What are you doing here? The fort. To blaze us with a fort. But you're on duty. You... Oh, your uniform, you're not wearing it. You're not on leave, are you? I'm through with the army, Ma. Through with it, do you understand? Through with standing guard in the open when it's 30 below. Through with chasing redskins with nothing but a blast that arrow in the back for your trouble. Jerry! Frozen saddles. Frozen feet and hands. Orders from men to stay inside where it's warm and safe just because they got stripes on their sleeves. I'm done with it, Ma. I'm done with it. I'll never go back. Or have you lost your mind, son? I'm just getting sense, that's all. I... The window, Ma. Is that horseman? The snow's blowing, so I can't hardly see. Cavalry. They mustn't see me. Where'll I hide? I can't let them find me. But Jerry, you can still go back. It isn't too late. You go can... back? They'd shoot me. Stand me up again a wall and shoot me. I've got to hide. The kitchen. No, Jerry. Over there, that little room under the stairs I use for a closet. You can lock that. Sure. Sure, this will do all right. You won't let him know I'm here, Ma. Of course not, son. Hurry. Yeah. My son is there. Oh, they stop. They're coming in. Open this door. Uh, just a moment. And make it pass. What? Get in there, man. Search the house from top to bottom. He's here and you've got to find him. Who are you looking for? I'm here alone. You can't. Sorry to say it, Mom, but that ain't the truth. I seen him running for this place myself. All right, fellas, hunt him out. If he gives you a fight, drill him. You want my boy? Now, now, Mom, don't you take on. We're just doing our duty. It ain't your fault he turned out bad. He didn't. He couldn't. He deserted. I don't believe it. When he lit out, he took the payroll for the garrison along with him. The payroll? Oh, no. Every last penny of it, $3,000. There's a mistake. There must be. Why, he didn't have... 
So he is here, eh? No, no, of course he isn't. I'm just thinking of something else. Yeah? What he most likely figured on was getting here without being seen, grabbing a horse and beating it for the back country to join them other outlaws. Jerry's no outlaw. Oh, shucks, Mom. Being his ma, I reckon you can't say no different. But if he didn't plan to join up with Max Daly and them other deserters that run off from the fort, then I'm a seagoing donkey. Jerry isn't Max Daly's kind. Both deserters, ain't they? What's the matter with you fellas? Can't you find him? He sure ain't where I look. How about you? I found him just about everywhere, Sergeant. Yeah? I ain't seen nobody open this door here. Mom, what's this door lead to? No, there's nothing in there. Don't, please. Stand away. Let me in there. Oh, please, I swear. It's just a room I saw things in. You've searched the house. You know he isn't here. Can't you go? If you really want him, you're just wasting time. He's maybe... Out of my... the way. So he ain't inside, eh? He isn't. I tell you, he ain't here. Sergeant, I got a way to find out whether she's lying or not. Huh? <laughs> Watch. Blast you. Who told you to fire through that door? I'll have your hide But for I that. was only trying I'll to... see if he's inside. Uh, it's locked. You got the key, Mom? No. Take the butt of your rifle. Smash that door in. I'll yes, report Sergeant. you, all of you. You can't do this. You've been mighty brave, Mom. There ain't no use of pretending anymore. Your boy's in there, all right. The way you yelled gave you away. But don't harm him. He don't mean to do anything. He... Oh. There. Sergeant, the lock's busted clean off. Now we'll see. What the... He's gone. Gone. Oh, Thank that window, it's open. He opened it and climbed out while we were searching through the rest of the house. Blasted luck. And tracking him through this blizzard ain't going to be no easy job. Just take a look outside. Sergeant, the snow's covered his prints already. To our camp soon, Tyler. There's not much use going further today. It gets dark soon. Yes. The storm is helping Max and his gang. Any tracks they might leave would be covered up five minutes after they were made. Ah. It'd be bad enough without the storm. This country is nothing but wasteland, gullies, arroyos, caves, hills, mile after mile of rocks. There's a thousand places to hide and a thousand ways to reach them without being seen. Maybe we not find out law. We won't give up. We'll try again tomorrow. Uh, Those men who deserted must be found and punished. They aren't. Others will follow their example. Just like that young fellow who deserted two days ago. Uh, him plenty foolish. I can't understand that case, Tonto. Terry Crane had a good army record. Uh, and he was liked by the men and his superiors. He'd been decorated twice. He was in line for promotion, they say. Maybe him think him steal cash. Him live easy. Yes. I'm afraid temptation proved too much for him. Now a good soldier has become another one of Max Daly's outlaws. That man has to be found, Tonto. And we try to find him. We'd better turn back now. Who, 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 I see. I'll try to remember how far we came today and start from here tomorrow. Uh, there, big stone by tree. Yes. We'll use that for a landmark, then. Tonto, over there in the snow. Isn't that a man? Huh? That man, all right. He's half buried under that drift. He must be freezing. Come on, Get Silver. him up, Scout. Perhaps he's dead already. Oh, Silver. Oh, oh, oh Scout. Oh. Give me a hand with him, Tonto. Uh, me help. I'll dig the snow away from him. Him not dead. Tonto here, heart. Good. Tonto, he's just a young fellow. I wonder, the description of Jerry Crane. This must be him. Huh? It was reported that he got away from his mother's home two days ago. Must have got this far on foot. It seems almost impossible in a blizzard like this. Uh, him not bad, Rose. He isn't? Uh, uh, me fix him here. He's uh, reviving, Tonto. Uh, Jerry, can you hear me? Wake up, Jerry. Go away. Let me sleep. It's so warm. Come, Tonto, help me lift him. We'll uh, get him back to camp. Lift him. Grow silver saddle, Tonto. Yeah. Steady, old fellow. Uh, uh, let me... Let me sleep. Uh, we'll take care of you, Jerry. Ready, Tonto? Uh, me ready. Hail, Silver! Hello! 
Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, made camp in a cave that sheltered them from the fury of the storm. There, they revived Jerry, and when he'd recovered enough to join them at their campfire, they listened to his story. Maybe you're right, stranger. I reckon I was an awful fool. You were, Jerry. There's no use dodging the truth. Maybe I'm just yellow. Maybe I ain't got the backbone a real man needs. I don't know. Anyhow, seeing the chance to get clear with all that cash and away from the army with the work and the dangers day after day, well, I just lost my head. Then you did steal the army payroll. Yeah. But when your mother was questioned by Captain Boyd, she claimed she couldn't possibly have had that money on you when she saw you. And I know you haven't got it now. It took time to hide it, stranger. That's how come I was near to being caught. I see. But I don't want it now. I don't ever want to see it again. You've got to believe that, stranger. I do believe you. It's too late to fix things up. I'm a coward and a thief. Just about the lowest thing ever walked on two legs, I reckon. You were false to your oath. Uh-huh. And you betrayed a trust. I don't need to be told. But I still think there's good material in you, Jerry. You've got a fine mother. A boy with a mother like yours can't be all bad. You really think that? That's what I want to believe. You, a, a masked man having faith in me. And after what I'd done. It isn't entirely faith, Jerry. I believe that when a man has thrown away all his honesty and manhood, he should be punished. But sometimes a man can make a mistake... Even a mistake as bad as yours and still become a good citizen if he's willing to pay the price. I I think I see what you mean, stranger. You could go on, Jerry, the way you've started, and in another year you wouldn't be worth saving. But now there's still time to turn back. Friend, I'll do it. I'll get that cash and give myself up. I'll face the music. And risk the firing squad? I, I was forgetting that. I know. But I think you're sincere. And I think there's another way to return, a way that you can go back with honor. There is? It mean danger, of course. What is it? What can I do? And hardships as well. I don't care. Just tell me what to do, friend. Anything. It don't matter. Then listen to me, Jerry. After I've told you my plan, you may not like it. But it's the only thing you can do to pay for what you've already done. Now then, what do you think of it? I'm not afraid. Then you agree? It's my chance, stranger, and it's you that's given it to me. I'd be even worse than what I am if I turned it down. And there's another thing. Yes? I just want you to know one thing. No matter what happens, no matter if I don't turn out to be the kind of man you think me, well, I won't never forget what you've done. Then I think it's time we turned in and got some sleep, Jerry. All of us need rest. Uh-huh. And first thing in the morning, I... Oh, here. Where's the fire? The soldiers that are looking for me. Them see fire. Quick, we've got to get out. They'll trap us in here. But what do we do? They're bound to... the horses. Tunnel. Huh? We'll have to let Jerry take Scout. You and I'll ride Silver. I should ride the paint horse? You've got to have a horse, Jerry. Here's Silver. Here's Scout. But what this is it? This won't our plans, Jerry. It only means that you've got to start at once instead of tomorrow. The sooner the better. And Scout, load, run those horses. Help with you, Tunnel. Uh, me up. Uh, I'll not forget what you told me, stranger. We'll separate here, but follow my instructions exactly. Hail, Get Silver. Get out there, Scout. Away. Shoot him down. Get on that paint horse. Hey, one of them other fellows was a mess. we can't catch him. Oh, there. Oh, 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 oh. Sergeant, I'd say there wasn't a horse in the whole troop that could travel like them. They just seemed to fly like they had wings. I'd give a heap to know who them other fellows was. Maybe the masked fellow was Max himself, but the one looked like a redskin. Yeah, that's what I thought. The polecats. Well, anyhow, we know they're still hanging around this part of the country. And by thunder, we'll get the whole gang. All right, men. Head your horses around. We'll go back to the fort and report this to the captain. Get up there. Get up. The curtain falls on the first act of our thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Jerry Crane, having stolen the army payroll and deserted, was saved from freezing to death by the Lone Ranger. Just as Jerry had agreed to make amends for his crime, the masked man's camp was discovered by troopers, and the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Jerry were forced to leave. As our story continues, we see Mrs. Crane, Jerry's mother, in Captain Boyd's office at the fort. Captain, I have some money. It ain't much, but it's what my husband left me when he died. You can have it all, every penny of it. Maybe that'll help make up for what Jerry done. This has been hard on you, Mrs. Crane. I had such plans for Jerry. His pa was a soldier, too, for a time, you know. Soldiering seemed to be in Jerry's blood. But now... I couldn't take your money, Mrs. Crane. Oh, I thought, well, I reckon I figured that if I could pay for what Jerry took, then, then you wouldn't be so hard on him, maybe. I have no choice. 
Your son was a soldier, ma'am. He'll have to pay the penalty expected of any other soldier who forgets his duty. Please. Desertion in time of peace would have been bad enough. You're not at war. It amounts to the same thing, ma'am. There's always the Indians and Max Daly. Max Daly. He's the cause of my boy deserting. Your son is the seventh man to desert and join Max. I suppose you know Max Daly was once a corporal here. Yes, I knew. He was discovered stealing from the other troopers. He was confined to the guardhouse, pending his trial and punishment. But with the help of several of his worthless friends, he escaped. I just can't bring myself to think that Jays had anything to do with a man like that. But there can be little doubt that was your son's plan. What else could he do? His capture would be almost certain if he tried to escape this part of the country. His safest bet would be to join Max in the back country where they hide out. He doesn't know where Max is. Perhaps not. But there's no question that Max has heard of him by this time. If Jerry can't find him, he'll find Jerry. My son. For your own good, ma'am, I'd suggest you forget it. But I... Uh... Who's there? Sergeant Crump, reporting, sir. Come in. Yes? I beg to report we found Private Dane, sir. Oh. You have him? Well, uh, not exactly that, sir. Oh, don't stand there stuttering. We... We found him, sir, but he, but he got away. Got away? A masked fellow in a redskin was with him. I reckon we'd got him if hadn't been for them. You blundering fools. Hey, yes, sir. Have him in your hands and lose him. I should reduce you to the ranks. Who was the man with the mask? Max Daly? We couldn't rightly tell, sir. It was getting mighty dark. I uh, couldn't rightly tell. Look here. Can you understand an order? Uh, Can you? Of course, sir. Then remember this. First thing in the morning, you're taking the men and searching the country around here from one end to the other. And the first masked man you see, shoot him on sight. Have you got that straight? Yes, sir. Then get out. Let a deserter get away from you. Sergeant, get out before I lose my temper. Scott, we don't find a place to get out of this storm before long. I'll, I'll be freezing all over again. I ain't never been so cold. Sure, fella. I'll bet you're plenty cold yourself. Well, we ought to come on something that'll do us right quick. There's caves are plenty here about. That far enough, Mr. Stop my way out. What the? Who's that? Let's pull up on that range, Jerry. Whoa, Scott, whoa. <laughs> give you a surprise, didn't I? Whoa, there. Uh, Max Daly. Uh-huh. Just thought I'd sort of give you a welcome. Huh? <laughs> As a matter of fact, Jerry, I've been following along behind you for quite a spell. Following me? But how Jerks, do I... you don't suppose them soldiers could do all that shooting without somebody hearing it, do you? Oh, so that's how you found me. I've been keeping an eye out. I figured maybe you'd be along this way before long. You know? <laughs> About you deserting? Sure I do. Maybe I do keep hold up here in the hills with the boys, but that don't mean that I don't get the news. I was looking for you, Max. I thought you might. Got tired of taking orders in the army, didn't you? And jumping every time some fella hollered at you. Didn't you? Sure I did. But there's another little matter, Jerry. Yeah? Told you I heard things. About you deserting, for instance, and something else. Now, you just sit still. Don't try nothing, because I ain't such a bad shot, even if I ain't a soldier no more. What are you doing? Just thought I'd have a look in your saddlebags, that's all. Got any objections? You mean the payroll? Sure, what else? It's there, Max, the whole thing. Well, now, that's just fine. You plan on joining up with me and the boys? I'd sure like to, Max. Mm, can you take orders? I guess you know I'm the boss. I savvy. And about that cash you got with you. Of course, you understand that everybody in our gang divides up equal. That suit you? Max, you can take this cash and divvy it up right now if you want it. You sure changed a lot since we shared the same barracks, Jerry. You and me didn't used to get along so well together. There's been a lot of water gone under the bridge since then, Max. I reckon there has. And from the way you talk, I got a notion you're going to fit right in with my bunch. Steady there, blast you. Can't we get someplace where it ain't so cold? That's where we're going right now. Back to camp to show the boys our new partner and divvy up that $3,000. Get up there. Get up, Scott. Several days went by. The storm cleared up, but still the Lone Ranger and Tonto did not leave their new camp. There's nothing yet, Kimosabe. Uh, not yet. This is the fourth night. We wait plenty long. Too long, Tonto. I'm afraid something's happened to Jerry. We can't wait another night. Maybe Jerry not tell truth. That's the gamble I had to take, Tonto. I hate to think he lied to me. Uh, but if nothing happens tonight... What we do? Then we'll have to try to find him. Hmm. That plenty hard. I may have made a mistake in trusting him, but I couldn't see a man with Jerry's qualities throw himself away without doing something to stop him. Uh, but I won't worry. There's still... Wait, Tonto. Huh? Oh, Missy. It's there. 
Here, Silver. You, you ride there? As fast as Silver can carry me. You want counter gold? No, Sato. It's a job for one man to do. There's more of a chance for success if Silver doesn't have to carry a double load. Uh. But I promise you, Tonto, that you'll be in on the finish. Hi-o, Silver! Away! Before the gate of the fort, a solitary sentry paced back and forth. Midnight. Dog gone keeping guard. I sure wish Don't I call could... out. What? I have a gun pressing against your back. Who are you? What do you want? Drop your rifle quickly. Now turn around slowly. Don't make any sudden moves. Yeah. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. And if you value your life, you'll obey orders. You can't get away with this. Quiet. Now open that gate. But I... Open that gate. Then take me where your captain sleeps. The captain? Exactly. The gate. Hurry. I'm getting it. Where's the captain's place? Just over there. All right. Walk ahead of me. And remember, shout or try to run for it and I'll fire. Get going. I'll be court-martialed for this. You'll get in more trouble if you didn't do it. Now look here, i talk. Keep on going. This is it. Up the steps. door unlocked. Captain, don't ever lock it, being inside the fort like this. Very well. What's that? Who are you? Captain, you've got a visitor, and you're going to listen to what I have to say, whether you want to or not. Max. Yeah? Burns Lacey is coming, Jerry. I ain't seen him around camp for the past hour. Well, what's there about that to get excited over? I just don't like it, that's why. I don't care if you did turn over that 3000 to us. I ain't trust him, even if you do. Yeah, who said I trusted him? Well, you, you talk figure like... he might try to clear out of here, huh? He might. And if he was caught by the soldiers, he'd tell about our hideout sure as thunder. <laughs> he won't get far by walking. Huh? That's his pain horse hobbled over there, ain't it? I told Jerry the only time he did any riding was when we was along. Oh, I never noticed a horse. I suppose you're right, but even so, oh, we can't... Oh, quit your worrying. He'll be showing up soon. Just about time to turn in anyhow. Hmm, there's a horse. Must be Nick coming back. Yeah. Just told him to take a ride around to make sure no soldiers were snooping anywhere near. It don't hurt to be careful. Uh -huh. Hi there, Nick. Hi oh, there. Oh, oh. See anything, Nick? There you think, Max. I rode clear out to Eagle Point. Say, what made you change your mind? Huh? Change my mind? What are you talking about? <laughs> you must have got pretty cold to make a fire like you did after all your hollering about taking no chances. What'd you put it out for? We ain't had no fire. You must be seeing things, Nick. Now, look here. If you want a fire, that's all right with me. Why in blazes lie about it? But we didn't have a fire, I tell you. Hey, are you serious about that? You think I'd build one out here where it could be seen? And if I did, where's the ashes? Well, I'll be doggone. You were just dreaming. Hold on. Huh? Maybe Nick wasn't mistaken. Maybe he did see a fire. Have you gone loco, too? Loco, nothing. I'll bet my bottom dollar Nick's seen just what he said he did. And what's more, I'll bet it was Jerry built the fire next scene. Come on, let's find that polecat. Tonto! We're not stopping, Tonto. Grab my saddle and swing up behind. Let me hear you come. There, Kimasabi. Keep on going, Captain. Come on, Silver. I seen the fire from over here somewhere. The skunk built his fire behind these rocks so we wouldn't know about it. I'll teach him to go again, orders. There it is, just around that corner. You can see the glow of it. Come on. Last you, Jerry, put out that fire. And hurry up about it. Stand where you are. Come any closer and I'll fire. Why are you threaten me, will you? Well, I... I warned you, the next will be closer. Put that gun down. That was for you, Nick. And if you rush me, I got another gun here that's loaded full up. Have you gone crazy, Jerry? What's got into you? If I interfere with me and you'll find out just how crazy I am. Flog him. Get down behind these rocks and drill him. Yeah, all of you get down. You better give up, Jerry. Get your head down. All right, bless you. Let him have it, fellas. He's behind the rock, too. Fire all around him. Stop firing. We can't get him this way. We'll have to rush him. If we don't, that fire will keep burning, and there's no telling who'll see it. All together, then. Are you ready? Come on. Please we'll get them. Run. If they resist, men, shoot them down. The soldiers. They're all around us. Run for it. Let's get out of here. We hey, can't stay. It's a mask, fellas. We're covered. We ain't got a chance. I give up. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. 
Tie them their horses. This time they're going back to the guardhouse to stay. We ain't the only ones. There's Jerry there. He's the one that stole the payroll. You gotta get him too. I'll take care of him. Jerry. I've done my best, friend. And now I can take my medicine, I reckon. I'm surrendering, sir. Surrendering? I know I've done wrong, Captain. I'm willing to pay. <clears throat> there must be some mistake. The mask man here told me about what you were doing to help us capture Max and his gang. I explained everything, Jerry. But you're getting the money you'd hidden. About coming here so that you could show us the way to Max's hideout with a fire. All of it. You did? And, Jerry, the mask man's persuaded me to give you another chance. But everybody knows about me deserting. Suppose you leave that in my hands. Huh? The mask man suggested that I report you deserted to the payroll as part of a plan to trick Max Daly. You mean... I mean I think his suggestion is one of the best I ever heard. But there's one thing you'll have to promise me. I'll promise anything, sir. <laughs> Just promise this. If the mask man ever tells you to do anything again, don't be fool enough to give him an argument like I did at the fort tonight. Come on, Silver, old fellow! There's trouble up the Hefner Ranch! Hail, Silver! Away! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs>